what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here what i talk about in this video i'm not going to have any images up of what i'm actually talking about i'm just going to have links down in the description because these are coming directly from the gentleman who again is my source for things jeepers creepers if i want to know anything jeepers creepers related i go to this person this again is stacy langenkamp the nephew of heather langenkamp who played nancy in nightmare on elm street he was once going to be he was once casted he landed a role in the once planned project jeepers creepers cathedral which you all know is going to be set 23 years after the second film and the first movie picking up in that barn he was set to play uh trisha's son he was going to be Derry jr that of course never happened but he remained in contact with victor him and victor are very close contact with each other in terms of just he has personal contact to victor salva so these slideshows and these images and these deleted scenes they're coming directly from a video he uploaded you guys can subscribe to his channel join the facebook group if you want to talk to him about anything jeepers creepers related if you want to ask him about how he got the role once upon a time for the planned jeepers creepers cathedral project join the facebook group that i'm going to leave a link to down in the comment section but anyway just to get into the topic we're going to be talking about deleted scenes and what we almost got for jeepers creepers 2 so this has been something I've known about for quite some time. I just figured I'd come on here and make a video talking about it and share my thoughts on it. One brief deleted scene that I know has been out there and a storyboard. I'm, I will share an image of this. A storyboard image of it. Victor Salva shared himself on that blog, the Poho County, the Poho County Line blog that Victor Salva has. It's still up and running uh, from a couple years back. He hasn't posted anything on it since 2012. Uh, but he shared something a few years ago on that blog where he basically went over a deleted scene that never got to be used concerning the demise of one of the coaches from Jeepers Creepers 2. I believe this is the first coach, the uh, African-American coach, Coach Hannah, I believe is the coach's name, who got picked up off the ground while everyone else was distracted, not looking that direction while he was leaving flares out on the ground. Well, what the deleted scene that we end up getting, well, we let, let's just go over what we know actually happened. That character gets picked up off from the ground and we never see or hear from him again. That's just it. As do all the other coaches. Uh, they all just get picked up. We never see or hear anything from them again. That almost was not the case. Coach Hannah would have re reappeared or what would appear as Coach Hannah was going to be reappearing. The kids, the kids, the teens, before they got on the bus or while they were on the bus, Someone out in the distance would have been calling for help. This would be the voice of Coach Hannah calling out to the kids, urging them to come out and help him uh, and explaining that the thing that picked him up off the ground, let him go and his leg is broken and he needs help. The kids would then, after convincing each other to go over there, they go over only to find out that Coach Hannah is in fact dead, but the creeper has his hand stuck behind his back, shoved up in his into his carcass mimicking and mocking him almost controlling him like he's a ventriloquist dummy and at that point that's going to be another power of the creeper reveal We're, now we know that the creeper has the ability to mimic people's voices and do this um uh, what type of i don't know what word i want to use for it other than deranged puppetry at that point that's deranged puppetry he would have that's that would have been the big twist out of that coach hannah himself wasn't actually calling for the teens it was the creeper toying with them and luring them out there they were going to find that out because they'd come to see that the creeper was holding him up holding him up from the backside, and the creeper is the one voiced and giving these voices and sounding just like coach hannah uh so that would have been another power of his that we would have found that he has the ability to be to ma manipulate his voice to sound exactly like his victims and he's he seems to be quite a very good ventriloquist <laughs> Uh, that sounds a little bit cartoony just reading it I, and if you see the storyboard for it I you can take what you want with it I think that would have been a cool scene something brief nothing to really dive into for other projects or anything like that or, or explore it in depth just something cool one time thing done I think that would have been cool another thing we want to get into a deleted scene was the creepers layer now we know that in the cathedral script we would have gotten a big cavern of a, of a layer they were almost going to do that again in Jeepers Creepers 2. They had a layer reveal in the original film with Justin Long's character Derry stumbling upon it. Him and Trisha, that's of course what got them in trouble. They went back to it, went down the pipe. He walked around that, that old church basement 
seeing that the creeper had bodies stitched up on all the walls, found a couple bodies. One of them, in fact, was alive. One of the more recent ones that the creeper had dumped down into that pipe. We didn't get anything like that for Jeepers Creepers 2, but we almost did. There was almost a scene. That scene, let's go over the scene that actually happened. The scene that we got that this is involving was the scene after the Creeper has a little brief showdown with Jack Taggart Sr. And the bus flips over and the truck flips over. And the, after he shoots these harpoons and he flies through the bus and that, that whole shebang where they were just going back and forth with each other just trying where jack tagger scene was trying to get his get his revenge against the creeper but and then we know after that we then jump to a scene with Rhonda, double d and izzy or izzy or isn't he <laughs> so we know that they end up stumbling upon they're walking they stumble upon a truck with the bug on it the guy that earlier was talking to coach hannah asking if they could help them with their flat tire uh they jump into his truck and they drive off. Now, the original scene would have saw them running into a look what looks like it's a gated gated area, a gated community for authorized personnel only. Uh, I'm just going off of memory. Might not be what the actual storyboard says when you guys look at the video. But they would have stumbled upon something where they would have broken into it, some type of fenced off area, and they would have they would have saw a truck in there, and they were they were going to run of course to get into this truck and what happens is while they're running to get to this truck they think there's a way out double d stumbles on stumbles on something they turn around double d turns around to see what he stumbled on or tripped over and it's like door handles door handles in the ground door handles in the ground and they of course would then open it to try to figure out what it is only to find out when they open it this is a military bunker it's an old military bunker when they go into it they they fall into it uh i, I can't remember the guy's name double d's friend uh kimball kimball's in there uh i feel like this would have been a good i'm just gonna s s give my thoughts on this that scene i would have loved if they kept that scene if they would have found this layer of the creeper using an old military bunker as a layer they could have kept that because what that could have been used to then do is kind of explain where he's taking these people that was my biggest gripe with jeepers creepers too we don't know where he's taking these people he takes the three coaches where did they go we know he they went somewhere they probably got some something got done to him i'm not to say that he ate all of them the creeper can kill just to kill and i believe he just killed those coaches just to get rid of them but characters such as uh scotty what happened to scotty and he doesn't go back for that other kid that he threw that star in his head at. Like just some of those are some of, some of my gripes for Jeepers Creepers too. He has these victims that he's not really attending to. And we never see what actually came of them. Had they have kept this scene where they stumbled upon this military bunker, that could have shed some light on what ultimately happened to them. We could have seen the dead corpse of Scotty in there. Now this storyboard, these storyboards don't go over that, but that just would have been something something nice to kind of just have an explanation of where his victims went because his jeep the victims in jeepers creepers 2 they just all disappear we don't necessarily need to know what happened to them but that can always that aspect of the film always kind of bothered me because the original movie there weren't too many weren't too many victims outside of the fact that he killed a couple people and then we at least saw what happened to Derry. we don't see what happens to scotty he kind of just kills the other kid and never really attends to him the one he threw the star in his head at the son at the opening, I wish we could have seen what happened to him. That would have been a nice thing to find him down in that military bunker. Just all this wasted potential I feel like that scene could have offered. But anyway, they stumble into this military bunker. They come across uh, more dead corpses hung up on the walls. And they make their way out of there. And before they make their way out, in the center of all these corpses that are stitched up on the wall is like a statue of or of the creeper or something. Whether it, that's a statue or not was never made clear to me from just looking at the video that might have been the creeper himself just sitting in that bunker waiting for them i don't know why he was doing that but whatever <laughs> but those are those are some of the deleted scenes that we could have gotten for jeepers creepers 2 we almost had another instance where the creeper could have talked that was left out they did not feel that the creeper should talk i'm kind of glad they left that out but it still would have been something cool to see that he could mimic voices to 100 percent accuracy that would have been cool uh, the bunker scene, seeing another creepy layer of the creepers would have been nice as well. Uh, really disappointed we didn't get that layer scene more than the fact that we didn't see the creeper do ventriloquist work. <laughs>
uh but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below again i'm gonna have links to these videos with these storyboards in the description if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video also in the description i'm gonna have links to all my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video